Despite a couple of recent incidents in Chinatown, business leaders say the area's been much safer than years past, but they'd like more to be done. Stephen Florino reports. The viral video shows a man with a stick darting across the street and hitting an elderly man in broad daylight. This was on King Street in Chinatown. We've seen a decrease in homelessness and in crime here in uh, Chinatown. So the incident that just happened was really a shock to us, and we hope that it's, it's an isolated incident. Isolated, but not necessarily surprising. Can I get the strawberry and um, the blueberry? Benjamin Sweets is literally the new kid on the block, open since March. Owner James Nove says he's seen a lot. When you have somebody that's using the restroom outside your door and you expect people to come and, you know, want to buy something from you, well, it doesn't leave a very good taste in your mouth to see something like that. Nove says the power outage in June brought out the worst. But even more disconcerting was you see the reality of the homeless people when nobody's here and in Generally speaking, you know, after 5, 6 o'clock, it's like the night of the living dead. The city says cleaning up Chinatown is a major focus of Mayor Blangiardi's administration with many initiatives. One of them just completed. The city just installed 30 brand new high resolution security cameras in the neighborhood with plans to install 30 more by the end of the year. The city also started a Chinatown law enforcement task force with officers volunteering to do overtime shifts to increase police presence. It also recently finished a $4.4 million upgrade of Keikaulike Mall, including new pavement, drainage, and electrical improvements. When uh, Mayor Blangiati said that, you know, he was going to really clean up ch uh, Chinatown, uh, he really meant that. Nove said he'd love to see some type of 24-hour private security for the area, similar to Kaka'ako, because he feels Chinatown has potential. I just feel like to try to be here, it's like, it's like a rebirth or a rejuvenization of, uh, of Chinatown in a whole. And it's kind of exciting because there, there's some, I feel there's a synergy. Stephen Florino, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.